And now, your selection. Meet the stars. In my last year of high school, my world turned upside down. My sister got engaged to the wrong guy. My crazy grandmother moved in. My best friend lost her mind. Among other things, my parents split up. And then the worst thing of all happened. Hi, Allie. I met him. What's your message to teenage girls that are kind of going through what Hallie's going through, that they don't really think they're kind of cynical about love? What's your message to girls that it, it exists, and here I'm a teenager, and I'm in love, and it can happen for you? I'm a teenager, and uh, love for me is just as hard as it is for anybody else, and just to believe in it and let it find you, because it will, and to not stress yourself out at such a young age about love. It's a beautiful thing, and it, it will find you. I'm such a firm believer. There's a person out there for everyone in this world. You are absolutely crazy. You're gonna kiss me, Hallie. You're gonna come a little closer. So I can put my arms around you. And then on the count of three, two, one. So I wanna know and how to deal, how you dealt with the whole theme of love and as a guy being sensitive and vulnerable, how'd you deal with that? Well, uh, men actually don't feel love. Uh, we have um, two conflicting emotions called hunger and anger. And when they fuse together, we get confused. This technically is known as love. You're afraid to go out with me because you actually might like me? No. No? But that's a good theory, I guess, if you want to protect your fragile male ego because you can't handle rejection. So is Andy the one who taught you that true love exists, or what? Yes, I'm in love, and Andy has really showed me that I, has shown me that true love exists, and I'm very happy, and yeah, things That's are good. Amazing, good, you're yeah. glowing, I, love I, I am, I am very happy. Life is definitely not so bad when you're in love. Can you tell me what that's like, too, when you're falling in love? You can't. You can't. You can't describe it. When you meet the right person and you fall in love, I, it's like, it's like everything you thought, you thought is, oh. Have you been in love yourself? Mm-hmm. Tell me about that first time when you No, I, I've already done that one once. You got pipped to the post. I can't, <laughs> I can't do that. It hurts. How do you think love has helped you in your career? I know you've been linked to some people in Hollywood, and now you have a love interest now. It's kept me happy. <laughs> it's kept me uh, on my toes and kept me guessing. And um, it keeps me working hard, I think, so I have the access and the ability to go visit because I have a long distance uh, romance, a long distance relationship. So love keeps me motivated. It really keeps it moving. Love, yeah, love is love is good for your job. Love is good for your life in general. Can you play tennis? No, I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm not an athlete at all. You don't want to see me play tennis. I have fun with it. I don't get angry at myself, but I'd rather sit in the stands and watch him play. What's the, what's the best part about a relationship to you? Spoons. Spoons? <laughs> Spooning. That's what you ladies want to hear, isn't it? Oh, I just love her and I cuddle her. It's <laughs> so warm. She pokes her butt out and you can't move and she's lying on your arm and it goes dead. That's what love is. How did you that and damn good kissing. The question I've always wanted to ask you is how you deal with Hollywood and being such a rising hot young star in Hollywood and you deal with it so eloquently, I think. Thank you. Know? you. How, how do you think you do it? I have no idea. I guess I'm just very humbled to be in the position that I'm in. Um, uh, you have to thank your lucky stars and feel really blessed for the opportunities that you've been presented with and um, taking advantage of things but not taking it for granted because I know as quickly as it's come it can be taken away in, in the same amount of time. So I'm just happy to be here, that's all. Don't give up on me. How to deal. First loves are never really over.